You are looking at a live picture from our Liberty University Skycam in Lynchburg. A beautiful day out there. It was hot. It was a little bit humid, although I will say that the humidity today actually was a little bit lower than it was yesterday. It's going to creep back up as we head into tomorrow. But overall, it was a dry day, a day where we enjoyed more sun than clouds. So let's head on over and show you what it looks like on the regional view. And we do have a few little showers up, say, towards Pennsylvania and also into New York. A little bit more in the way of Sabrina, near Kentucky and also into Tennessee. But high pressure ruled the roost for us today. It's say between Cleveland and Erie in uh, Pennsylvania, so it's situated right along the Ohio Pennsylvania border, and that was our main dominant weather feature today, and it brought us a pretty nice day to be outside. Now I will tell you that temperatures tomorrow are going to go down even more. We're looking at highs tomorrow only in the middle 80s, so welcome relief in sight for us tomorrow. Can't rule out a stray thunder shower on our Wednesday afternoon, but I think there's a better chance for some passing thunder showers as we head into Thursday, and the reason for that got a little warm front that's going to be sneaking through here on Thursday, creating enough lift in the atmosphere to kick off these scattered thunder showers. And once the instability gets here Thursday, it's going to be with us Friday into Saturday. More on that here in a second. Future tracker showing that overnight we are looking at skies really nothing worse than partly cloudy. For the most part, we're fair. As we head into the day on Wednesday, we are looking at a day where we're probably going to start out dry with some sun. As we head into the afternoon, we're going to have a little more cloud cover around. Around noon, I can't rule out a stray shower, and then we'll have that chance for a stray pop-up thunder shower as we head into the afternoon, even into the early evening hours. I would say by 11 o'clock tomorrow evening, we should be dry. Now, as we look ahead, there's a much better shot for some rain late this week into the first part of the weekend. And looking at the latest computer models, it looks like we could receive over an inch of rain, maybe in a few places over two inches of rain as we head into the Thursday, Friday and Saturday time frame with perhaps Friday looking to be the wettest day for us. So uh, as we head into the latter part of the work week, even into the first part of the weekend, our chance for rain will increase by quite a bit. And you'll notice that we're not alone. Really areas say from Norfolk all the way out, say towards St. Louis going to see a fair amount of rain. So the rain chances go up for us 40% Thursday up to 60% on Friday, 40% on Saturday and then Sunday right now looks to be the drier of the two weekend days. Temperatures stand right now 91 at Smith Mountain Lake, 89 in Danville, 82 in Hillsville and Galax. Now July 90 degree days every day you see highlighted in red. We've had 90 degree day plus it's or 90 degree plus days, I guess is the right terminology where you see these blue days. That's where temperatures were below 90 degrees. 19 days so far this month where we've had temperatures at or above 90 degrees and today makes 16 days in a row where we had 90 degree days. So overall, this is the longest stretch we've had on record in a very long time. Of course, the number we need to beat is 22 days straight set back in 1966. But man, oh man, has it been hot here lately. But tomorrow, I don't think Roanoke will get above 90 degrees. I think it will be below 90 degrees, and that should end the streak at 16. So for tonight, overnight lows around 66, and then for the day tomorrow, we're looking at highs right around 85. Skies tomorrow partly sunny. Can't rule out a stray late day thunder shower. Your extended forecast, though, as I told you, showing a better chance for rain Thursday through Saturday. Any storm that pops those three days could pack a punch with some damaging wind and large hail. But notice for the next week, each and every day, not starting with a nine, but rather starting with an eight. Yes, the 80s return, and once they get here, they're here to stay for a while.